How's it going, everybody? My name is Warner Fields with Fields of Profit. I'm a mid six figure full time Amazon seller. Today, I'm here with my friend Miles. A lot of you guys probably know him, friend of the show. Uh, but today, we're going to be um, talking to Miles about how he was able to grow his business from really not doing that much at all in 2020 to doing over $300,000 in sales in December alone. Uh, but before we get into kind of how he did that, I do want to mention real quickly that we did just open uh, the sale for our brand new course, the FBA Roadmap. It's going to be $70 off. Uh, if you buy it right now, it's the price will be going up on Tuesday, the 15th. Uh, it's basically the whole blueprint of how we're able to grow our Amazon business. It's perfect rebuild at every level. It's going to go through sending in your first shipment all the way up to some crazy powerful tactics that I really can't talk about here on YouTube, but we're super excited to share with you uh, everything we've been working on. But yeah, how's it, how's it going, Miles? How are you? Oh, good. Absolutely. I'm excited. I was just looking at my uh, seller app, like we were on Zoom the other day, almost one point two last 12 months which is a lot more than uh i did in 2020 or 2021 which is like or 2020 which is only like 30k in revenue the whole year yeah. so it's you know come a long way in that time luckily you know partially thanks to guys like you the community we got online but i'm excited to spit some game on how exactly i went to do yeah, that for sure yeah so for the for the true like beginners out there like um how did you how did you start how instant uh was your success like did you kind of get started to have some struggles like how much did it take to get to these crazy like 50 100k months yeah so the basically the timeline so in 2018 about three three years ago 2018 october YouTube algorithm served me a video about this dude named Roman the Roamer who was selling books on Amazon. I was like, wow, I, I literally had no idea you could do that. Didn't really take action on it until the summer of 2019 when I was working an unpaid internship, but I was also reselling shoes at the time. So I, I was making money, like thousands a month in profit then. Um, ended up going mostly Amazon through the fall of 2019, making no money, like working hard and making like a thousand bucks a month profit. Um, which obviously wasn't good, but no one knew how to get ungated. Like there was no info out there. Like people really breaking it down. There weren't channels like yours that were literally showing exactly how to do it, like different resources to look into. And then 2020 pandemic hit, didn't really do any Amazon the whole year, made like 10K profit, uh, which was actually a lot of consignment, which did work really well. That 10K profit was actually really good for the amount of time that went into it because there's like a compound effect with books yeah. and everything. February 2021, friend uh, from online told me how to get negated at Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, those brands, uh, tried it, was surprised it actually worked, hit the ground running, um, first 50K month, June, first 100K month, August, and then 200 in November, 300 in December. Obviously that's revenue, but at, even at you know 17% of that, still like 50K profit at the peak, which is amazing. More money that, I, that I'm like super excited to talk about and just passionate about showing other people how they can go ahead and do it too. Yeah, that's awesome. It's it's kind of crazy how like you compare starting an Amazon business to, you know, pretty much any other traditional business where you can be, you know, you can be making a profit like on your third or fourth week, whereas a lot of traditional businesses, you're years into the business without turning a profit. So I think that's yeah. a super powerful, you know, just uh, ability of selling on Amazon. Um, so like specifically within going from books, figuring all that out uh, to really being able to scale up, what was the most like significant um, change that you made in your business that allowed you to scale? Was it capital? Was it sourcing? What, what kind of made the big difference there? Yeah, sourcing by way of learning how to get on gated. Luckily, all that information is out there for pretty much any category that it is possible to get on gated. And that's something we talk about a lot. But it was that then that allowed me to source and getting super curious trying out tactical arbitrage, trying out some bolo groups. Uh, tactical expander specifically was really big for me. I haven't used it now in a while because I've learned to do stuff on my own. I do everything manual now, no software besides Keepa. Um, mm -hmm. But back in the day, I was grinding using a lot of different stuff. I'm going to try and find my way on that. But it was literally just getting ungated and being exposed to a lot of different products that I could now sell that people who aren't in the community or aren't just getting curious online are never going to figure out how to get ungated in that stuff because Amazon won't just let you, you have to do a specific set of actions that luckily it's very easy to do, but it's just, yeah, you know, what you know. Yeah. So you mentioned that uh, you were able to scale using all those tools, like the big expensive tactical expander, tactical arbitrage, but now you're kind of just doing it manually. Um, I think that's a very cool point to drive home, um, be, especially because uh, how much of that is stuff that you're just buying that you originally sourced. Um, like a lot of people, you know, they'll dive in. They're like, I can't find anything. But the nice part is um, I know personally, a lot of my items, I'll find an item and then I can just keep selling that item over and over again. Has that has that been something that's allowed you to scale that software back? Yeah, because there's a lot of compounding effect to uh, buying stuff that's not the hottest deal of the day that's not on sale that you can 
get over and over again. That's the like beauty products, for example, like people are always going to want to buy those. And it's not like you hear about massive, like Walmart's not going to do like 50% off or whatever. Like right. there's a lot of stuff that there's just market inefficiencies based on that brand doesn't sell on Amazon and Amazon doesn't buy products directly from that brand, but it's able to be sold on Amazon. So naturally that creates a different market because no one's buying it at wholesale or at least Amazon isn't buying it at wholesale. So it's literally just up to the free market and the third party sellers to decide it. And if you get the, the right people that are smart on those listings, you know, like there'll be yeah. just market inefficiency yeah. you can take advantage of. Yeah. Um, I think something within those products that are typically replenishable is that oftentimes there, you're not going to be finding these crazy, like hundred percent, 200 percent ROIs. Like, what do you have to say to the beginner who might, you know, they're, they're not buying anything that's below 50% ROI. What do you, what do you have to say to them? Yeah. So you're not spending enough money if that's your lowest point, um, or you're spending way too much time sourcing to find only stuff of those points. Like there, there's a lot of beauty in lower ROI stuff because the newer sellers stay away from it because it is lower ROI stuff. You can see on, on these different listings, if the whole, if everyone on the listing has over a hundred reviews, over 50 reviews, everyone's making money, everyone's serious, they're committed to this. And you can see in the price help on some of those listings, but literally like go follow like the big wholesale sellers. They're all talking about volume. No one's worried about spending an hour to find a 55% ROI when you could, you already know in your head about stuff that's 28%, 33%, but there's LTV to it. There's lifetime value that I can sell hundred units a month, 500 units a month, and I'll be able to consistently do that. I'd much rather that than being able to sell 17 of it, of something to make 60% than all that effort that went into finding that item. There's no compounding effect to it. Yeah. I think that that's something that I see. I've been doing some coaching calls and stuff like that. I, that's something I see a lot with them where they're like, I can't find anything. I've been setting my minimum at $5 profit per unit, 50% ROI. When, you know, if spending a thousand dollars at 40% ROI is going to make you more money than $0 at 50%, right? Like if you know of those products that are out there go and spend it, like your job as an Amazon seller is to get through that bankroll. And that's, you know, if you have to sacrifice a couple, uh, you know, points of ROI, that's, that's just what it takes. Um, so for the, for the beginner out there, um, or, you know, maybe they're, they're pretty decent along the journey into, uh, you know, selling on Amazon, uh, what is like kind of the biggest piece of advice you have? Um, let, let's do what, how about what should a beginner do? And then what should someone who's kind of stuck maybe five to 10 K, what should they do? Yeah. So the beginner, your, your only priority as a beginner is getting sales. If that has to be used books, if that has to be merchant field, that's fine. You want the proof of concept to get sales that shows that we're not just talking heads on the internet. The person who wants to scale, you need to aggressively spend more money and do it in replicatable ways, right? You need to be finding stuff that you can source that's either you finding it or an in-house VA that's not available to other people. Because once you can find stuff on your own, you can go deeper because you can not worry that that was sent to a group that had 500 members in it, that 40 of them are going to go buy it. Naturally, that affects the pricing and everything. So it might not be the best item to go after, but learning to go out and find stuff on your own or put the systems in place to find stuff on your own, going deeper, not just using tactical arbitrage, using tactical expander, plugging in coupons. That way you're getting access to items people aren't. That's really all it comes down to spending money on items other people aren't finding. Yeah, that's that's a great way to, to put it. It's just about putting in that initial work, really building up that business. Um, and we are super excited to to show you that step by step plan for going from zero to 100 or maybe going from 50 to 100, wherever you are in your Amazon business. We're super excited to share the things that have allowed us to scale our business super high. We're, you know, these these are the things that are going to continue to generate seven figure revenue. Hopefully I'll be hitting that. Miles hit that last year. Um, we're super excited to continue to implement these strategies and we've shared pretty much everything we know about selling on Amazon in this course. Super excited to share with you guys. Again, uh, the price will be going up by $70 on Tuesday, the 15th. Would love to see you take advantage of that. We've got tons of bonuses like a free uh, or a, a private Discord server. Uh, we've got a, a one month free trial of Be Cool and a ton of other bonuses in yeah, there. Yeah, that's like there's other stuff on top yeah. of just the content. Yeah. Like you're, yeah. you get like community, obviously we're gonna be actively putting new stuff in there. And it, it's more so just like we've gone through, assuming you want to, you you want to, you know, really make some money on Amazon. We've gone through that entire process and have, in our opinion, a great way to do it. And that's what we walk through step by step in the roadmap. So you guys should consider yeah. going and checking that out. Yeah, there's going to be a link right down below for you guys to go check that out. I'd highly encourage you to hop in there. But it was uh, great to chat with you, Miles. I'm sure a lot of people know you. Was, uh, I guess this is the first time you've actually officially been on the channel, which is kind of funny. Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I hope all of you guys go out there and crush it. Uh, go take action and sell some stuff on Amazon.